Answers. This is all about us. All about, I'm sorry, I have to be objective. This is all about you, Cancerians. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Predictions for the next seven days out. Let's see what's going on. You know we do the full oracle card spread here and in the description box below, there is a link to an extended reading where we articulate everything with tarot, um, do a full tarot card spread over there, as well as the romance reading. So let's get right into this. Let's do this. You know, I find it very difficult to be objective, guys, but let's do this. Cancer, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, wherever Cancer influences, oh, it's popping. Wherever something, wherever Cancer influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Trying to get your crowning energy up in here. Mm. Cancerians. Cancerians. Trying to get a crowning energy. Let's see. Trying to get a crowning energy. And yet nothing popping up. No, nothing's popping out. Oh, it just happened. Give with gratitude and grace. You know, Cancerians, this is strange. And I'm just going to say this out loud. It's almost like you don't need to hear this, but you, you, look, it says, hang with me here, hang with me. Crowning your energy is abundance to share. It is your strength in being able to support others and give to others. This could be doing charity work for the holidays, that, you know, giving to the needy, not the greedy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you hear what I'm saying. This is that, that energy of um, give, give to receive. Your abundance is going to overflow if you make room for it by giving pieces of, you know, pieces of you away. Now, why I said this, why I said what I said in the beginning of the reading was you're not going to believe I'm saying this to you because this is your energy. So I feel like what what the crowning of the reading is saying is you need to be very Cancerian this week. And that is particularly be good with your money. Be a little bit tight walleted. It's hard around the holidays. I know you're saying, but Michelle, you're telling me to give, give, yeah, give of yourself. Not to be completely too graphic here, but Turkey kind of gives of his own flesh. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like giving of yourself, giving of your time, giving of your support and your energy and your faith in somebody. It's not about pouring out money. It's about being very conservative with your funds this week, being very protective of your heart this week, and not like, in other words, being very conservative this week. And it's very difficult around the holidays, especially for us. We just want to give. It's like, as soon as we hear somebody wants something, we want to give it to them. We want to go out and buy it for them. But you know what? You got to rein it in. You got to tuck that wallet back. And it's about giving of your time. It's also about wanting somebody to give uh, their time to you. Looking for the turkey in your life, <laughs> not really the turkey, but that person who is altruistic and wants to provide for you and wants to care for you. So this is that energy of be who you want to attract. So giving of yourself, taking care of people, not through dishing out the funds, but in that loving way that we like to do, be very nurturing. Um, feed people this week, feed them. If not literally, then figuratively feeding their souls, giving them guidance, showing them the way, hyping them up, being their cheerleader. This is our energy. This is a, it's a very beautiful altruistic energy. And it, I get I, my only suspicion and I got to read the other cards is it's saying to us, do this, do this because you can because you have this abundance of spirits and because karma is watching, we are literally laying down the foundation for the next 38 years of our lives. So what do we want in our lives? If we want to be given to, we have to be what we want to attract. At the same time, I'm gonna remind you guys, we also have to set healthy boundaries. So it's not like, hey, let me put my head on the chopping block like turkey and lose my life for somebody. No, but it definitely is about being smart with how you give to people and not giving away, not giving away 
too much, but giving of yourself, baking somebody cookies as a Christmas gift, you know, instead of having to break your banking account, there is this sense of generosity and abundance that you have in your life right now. So that's a really good thing, but you also want to make sure that that abundance is something that you share, but at the same time, you're not sharing too much. And I know maybe I'm being too cautious. Um, but the bottom line is there's abundance in your life and it, there's a there's a need to give abundantly this coming week. Just give and don't worry because what this what this card is saying is the universe provides. The universe is right behind you to fill in the resources that maybe you think you've lost or maybe you think are missing from your life. That is not the case. The universe is sitting here supplying you with all that you need. You have the resources. So go ahead and gush this week, Cancerian. Let it fly. Let it go. Let it go and let yourself be you. It's, it's almost when we shine the brightest, when we can take care of people and we can, we can help them. So this is about altruism and getting into that, that, getting into that holiday spirit. You know, for me, it's Christmas. I don't know what holidays you celebrate, but it's definitely giving into that, giving that holiday spirit, demonstrating your big heart and the abundance that you have. And it's also positioning you. And this is why I think you're being called to, and I don't mean to make this into a selfish thing, but it's almost like you're being we're being called to do this this week, Cancerian, because it is our most high vibrational self. It's like if we're vibrating high and we're at our most harmonious place, and we really are at our most harmonious place when we're gathering around the family, when we're feeding people, when we're caring for people, when we're helping people, when we're giving of ourselves. We love that. And it's almost like there is a purpose behind spirit calling us to say, vibrate high this week. Be doing it in that process of whatever makes you shine the brightest this week because there is this energy of you, you, you being sought after. Hold on. Okay, set healthy boundaries. What did I say? I didn't, like literally, oh, happy birthday, Michelle Ann. I just saw my, my birthday flash um, on the timestamp underneath. So what did I say? Set healthy boundaries. So it's very difficult. Yes, yes, this is our, our hardest, most, most difficult, but let's see, let's see. Let's show the universe what we can do and show them what we've learned. This is about Holy Trinity, divine intervention saying to you, hey, Cancerian, let's see uh, how good you are at doing this now. Can you give and provide and take care of without giving too much of yourself away? Do you have the ability to say no, but say yes, but also say no and not to keep saying yes. Say yes, like think about it beforehand. Think about what can I, what am I really comfortable with? Really, what am I comfortable with? What do I really want to be doing? Is there something that is going to make me happy? Well, then let me align myself with that and let me tell them the exact hours that I can do it and when I'm available and then let me stick to that. But I'm still engaging and involving myself in giving and taking care of. This is that energy of maybe somebody is going to try to take too much or push too hard this week. Just be wary of that. Now, listen, the truth is you love when people take too much. The truth is you love when people need you. You love to be needed. You love to be around people who need to be nurtured. It's definitely this energy of us just basking in the glory of being able to give. But always remembering that if we give too much, what do we take home with us? Well, spirit has a plan. What did I say? From the first card, all these cards are coming out that, that back up what I said with the crowning energy. Spirit wants to see you vibrating high this week. It's got a plan. I told you there's a reason why we're being called to do it. This is 35, 8, infinity. That um, 3 plus 5 equals 8, which is the infinity sign, right? This is destiny and this is fate. There is a reason for you to give of yourself this week. If there's any week for you to let your goodness fly, do it this week. There's something that's, that there's, there's somebody watching. 
That's what I'm just gonna say. There is somebody keeping really tight tabs on you, watching you very closely. Build up that karma, Cancerian. This is a higher perspective, but it's very grounded. It's very peaceful. It's not necessarily judgmental, but it is almost like um, it is almost like like teacher, like a like a let let's see how well they're doing. There's there's this energy of. Um, just watching what it's like the divine is watching us this week seeing how we behave in these situations but remember setting those boundaries is a part of how we behave in those situations right that's what i'm saying it's like if all we do is gush and give and we don't set any limits for ourselves we are also telling spirit we are not ready we're not ready for abundance because if we can't handle what we have and we give away what we have, then what is having more going to do for us? It's just going to be more of a burden. We have to show in all ways, in the ways that we give and the ways that we nurture ourselves, that we are actually prepared. Okay? Very challenging week. This is, this is not going to be an easy week. It's not. Because we're going to want to give ourselves away. We're going to be tempted. We're going to be asked. Take a second before you say yes. Literally, it helps so much to just, <sighs> okay, I really don't want to do that. You know, and like that, that may be all we need this week, but it's very important. You are never alone. Oh my God, this is love, guys. This is 100% home and happiness and being surrounded by people you care, but this is also about giving love. Remember what I said? It's about sharing love, giving love, nurturing, taking care of people. Like I said, there's so many altruistic opportunities this week, and it's almost like you're aligning with the divine if you go ahead and you volunteer and you give of yourself this week. And what I'm going to say is subverted, subtextually, this is leading you closer to a love that you've been waiting for. I don't know if you're going to meet the person when you're volunteering with them or if this volunteering situation is going to lead to another situation which is going to lead you to your person, but there is a heartbeat that is beating strong this week. There is that energy of breathe life into the life that you want to have. This is like cardiac on alert, getting that heart pumping. There is an energy of the two of you coming together. Now, this could be sharing time with the person that you love, that over the next seven days, you're going to be able to really be surrounded by exactly who you want to be around. This is our family. This is a very family-oriented time. And But but this is like almost the Grinch, you know, not that we're Grinches, but um, that, that heart growing and just nurturing and give, give, give because we have the capabilities. Please leave a little for yourself, please but just give, just show that love, show your love in every way and use every opportunity you have to go and give and nurture this week because subvertedly, this has to do with a larger plan. This has to do with an alignment to a larger aspect of your life, how you behave or what you do and how much you give. Like I said, you want to be vibrating harmoniously this week. Why? Because that's going to like tune the rest of your year so no pressure okay I know I know here's like Michelle I know no pressure cancerian this card has not come out well actually it came out in the Aries reading I think and so did you you came out big time in the Aries reading so you better go check on that one and in the extended reading you might want to you might want to actually grab the Aries extended reading too because you came big time coming through in the Aries energy just to let you know so this could be this divine partnership guiding you together leading you together you know like that mystical creature that's leading you through the mist and then you end up bumping into your partner along the way this energy of you take the lead you're receiving messages from the divine there is a bigger purpose out at play than what you're actually doing so you're going to be engaging in activities over the next seven days but those are, are like stocking up your karmic returns paying into the bank account for the future this is like prepping for the future prepping for where you want to be and prepping for the life that you want to live this is you being the designer and the architect of your life and understand that because it's like 
it's huge. This is also you being approached directly by destiny, by fate, by this stag, this very um, natural, powerful, spiritual entity coming and choosing you to talk to. So even though that's sort of like the more spiritual version of it, how would this play out into the 3D? Aligning yourself with your spiritual gifts, aligning yourself with your highest persona, with your, your best self, um, aligning yourself with your design, divine, uh, divine purpose, working very hard and giving a lot of yourself and putting all of your energy into your divine purpose this week which is to nurture, which is to heal, which is to show people the way. This is also a central energy for your reading. It's 58, five plus eight is 13, four. It's strong foundation. Oh, wait, so we're picking up this energy now, frog spirit. This is your energy. This is sort of emotional maturity, learning when to let go, learning when to release. And I actually just gave advice to somebody in a personal reading is, Go around your house. This is part of that charity. Remember what I was talking about? Go around your house. This is going to set up a real good karmic kind of, just a real good karmic cycle. Go around your house and empty it out. Take all those things that you're not using, that you ignore, that you don't touch anymore. Round them up and donate them. Make that be your first act is clearing out your space because because you are getting ready for something bigger. That's that's what the meaning of this whole reading is. You're like, what, Michelle? What? What? Well, you know what? I'm going to find out. I'm trying. You know, I'm definitely going to find out when I dig in in tarot. But the bottom line is, Oracle is a little bit more abstract. abstract. But there is definitely this energy of there is purpose behind you clearing out that space. You letting go of those things that no longer serve you, no longer purpose, there's no purpose in your life anymore. You having the ability to know what to leave and what to hold on to, right? It's almost like Frog takes control of his destiny now. He's not stuck underwater where he's, you know, it controlled by the water and, and, and the currents. No, now he has legs and he can go on land. And a frog, like a crab, is is that a creature of like the tides, a creature that can go in and out, you know, can hop on lily pads, can go up to land if he wants to, but also can dive in and swim. There is that energy of us being able to traverse those two different realms because we're mature enough to be able to do it now. We don't have to let our emotions or our need, our neediness, uh, hold, like hold us down right this is about letting letting that go letting those things go that no longer that we don't even use anymore that we that, that don't have a purpose in our lives okay it's about releasing that energy and it's about emotional maturity it's about growing up and it also i'm going to say this straight out to you it's time the time is here the time is now the moment is ours we're being looked to to guide people why because we're still in the north node and the north node is still us so this, we have to amp it up, guys. We have to take the lead and show people how to give up yourself. But like give those pieces of yourself that you're not going to use. I think that's what this card is saying. Give pieces of yourself that you're not going to use, that you don't need. Don't give your rent money away to buy people Christmas gifts. Bottom line, because that's stupid. It's stupid and it's going to show that karmically we're going to set ourselves back again because we haven't learned any of the lessons that we've been taught. Um, think on your feet. This is Sagittarius season. Primarily for me right now in this reading, it's a t this card is a timestamp. Though you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, there could still be some leftover remnant feelings toward a Sagittarius or some sort of fire sign that's in your life that you need to release and let go of. Like I said, you appeared very heavily in Aries reading. However, you appeared very differently. Like it's a very prominent love interest. So I'm telling you, you might want to get over. I'll, I'll attach the Aries reading for YouTube over here. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. There is an energy of release, let go, and go with the flow. Like trust in the now, not holding on to the past. That's 
the predominant energy here, not holding on to the past, looking into the future because we're prepping for our future by letting go, by nurturing and by vibrating high and harmoniously, we are literally looking into our future. Ooh, okay. Time to collaborate. This is also working with people. This is number one. Start, beginning, work with people. Go out there and get yourself into a nativity play. Help yourself organize a school event. Like help, help your kids organize their school event or, or um, go out and work with charities. But this is you connecting with others. If you do work from home, make sure that you are reaching out and having meetings and trying to collaborate with people. Because why? Because everybody that you collaborate with is going to build your community it's going to expand and broaden who you know and it's about collaborating with people to do this work which you're doing to be a good person or to improve your life or your situation but you're also improving or widening that birth of people that are in your hemisphere it's these connections that you're going to start to build these, this networking is extremely important. Now you're not doing it for networking, but you're setting yourself up for something that is coming to you. You're setting yourself up for this next year because there's something about the setup of what you're choosing to do over the next seven days that is literally setting up the rest of your life, like or the next 38 years. I'm not kidding you because this is Saturnian energy. That's like I'm watching Cancer and I want to see where their asses are at. I'm... I'm straight up. Let spirit be your guide. This is you attaining a natural sense of solidity in who you are. Uh, fl not fluffing off your feathers or trying to be showy, but definitely looking into the future and seeing far, but very having like, you know, keen insight. Being able to go after and hawkeye what you want, having good aim targeting like literally take aim at what you want and what you're looking for uh cancerian it's really important and you ha you have the control in your hands this week Ooh, ooh! it's also about communing with spirit attaching yourself and really listening to the the central card is these antennae receiving spirit messages and letting it download into you you guys are going to be getting some major downloads some major downloads this week and then following it without question, just do it. A rebirth is assured. Oh, somebody's coming out of the dark. Somebody's finding their way into the lights like a bat out of hell. Change is here and it's a beautiful change. It is the, like the dawning, the dawning of a new day for you. You are literally getting a second chance at life. This is like your karmic cycle going all the way around again and resetting. Whatever was in your past is over. It's gone. You have a new future ahead of you. There is newness, newness through collaboration that is coming toward you. A second chance, a second chance, Cancerians. Okay, two more cards. And that's the grounding energy. That's the grounding energy. Like, okay, I'll flip the camera around so we can review. See the big picture grounded <clears throat> grounded energy this is taurus energy kind and gentle right those same eyes looking out with your whole heart and your whole soul but setting healthy boundaries and also being sure that your future is secured not just seeing what's in front of you for instantaneous gratification but being well firmly planted on the ground grounded and also being able to see in the distance. Being grounded is what's helping you see in the distance. So what is that grounding energy? Your healthy boundaries that you set and making sure that you have everything that you need and then planning for the future. Oh my God. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Grounding you is 100% sincerity in who you are and loving everything about who you are and having courage to follow your instincts or your intuitions, your instincts, get it? Okay. Um, your intuition this week, being exactly who you are and not trying to hide it from anybody, 
Letting, in other words, revealing yourself, sharing yourself with the larger self, with the larger community. Share everything that you are. And if they want to judge you, they can judge you. If, you. if you stink bomb, you stink bomb. But accepting every aspect of yourself and not being embarrassed and not being ashamed of who you are. This is adding up to nine. So something is about to change. This is a complete a near completion of a cycle and something is about to make a major shift in your life and it's partially got to do with how you treat you. All right, let me review the cards. I'm going to turn the camera angle around. Hold on. Big reading. Lots of cards came out for you. Crowning your energy is your need to give. Your need to just be just be gracious. Go, go out there and create the world through your goodness and your kindness and your, your absolutely, um, undaunting and in uh, uncomparable, it, like nothing compares to you when it comes to giving and nurturing, you'll give away your whole self. But honestly, that is your impetus. It is your inspiration this week to just give, give. This is being involved or engaged in some sort of charity work because this is very an altruistic energy of giving of yourself from your own heart, right? Um, and then we have the major part of the tale, the central energy of take the lead, you getting a download and awakening, you finding a purpose and, and knowing which direction you're going in. And literally it's spirit that's guiding you showing up out of the mist to come through and literally walk you through this. So you will receive a download. It could be through dreams. It could be through visions. It could be through songs. Spirit is going to be talking to you profoundly over the next seven days. Make sure you listen without any hesitation. Just follow where spirit leads. This is going to make your heart come together with another person's heart. Spirit is setting you up this week for your divine connection, whoever you are connecting divinely with. And it's there's a, a bigger purpose behind just that energy of you wanting to give and you wanting to help. There's a much larger reason uh, behind everything that's going down for you this week. And I want you to understand it and be aware of it. You are ready. You are ready for the next stage of your life. A rebirth is assured, grounded, seeing the big picture, maturing to a place where you can move on and direct and conduct your own life and your own self. Being able to, and it's happening now. This is Sagittarius season. This is Sagittarius energy. This is making sense of all the chaos and connecting with other people. It is going to be essential, Cancerians, for us to decide to be active in all of this giving with a, with a group, with other people. It's essential. Why? Because even though we don't know it now, it's going to affect or effectually lead us to those people. It's it literally our future is being set up in the next seven days. That's what it is. So show them that you're ready. Uh, it, it, I can say this right now. This is beyond us. Change, change, change. This is beyond us. Something is going to happen even without us doing anything at all. But the bottom line is we're going to have, we have to do, we're cardinal. We have to do something. We have to. It's going to work through us. It's going to burst through us. So like going to push us in the direction that we need to go to get to where we need to go. Be the conduit, be that flow. Um, I know you all want to hear. Yeah, well, I was, I'm sorry. You know what? Let me just stop here because the, I, like I said, I'm going to dig deeper into this higher purpose. I'm going to see who is coming toward us, but I got a similar energy and please go watch it. Um, I'll actually attach that card above too. The romantic tarot that I did, I got the energy that we are literally being set up, whether we know it or not, how we act and how we respond is, is, is helping spirit gauge where to place us in the next, in the next, for the, for the next half of our lives. So just understand that, that this week is very important. And the more you give and the more generous and big hearted you are, the more karmic sort of 
the more you deposit into a karmic bank. That's an FYI. So anyway, I'm going to go over. Let's, let's move on to tarot. And I'm going to get into the romantic reading as well. I'll see you over there.